Yeah, I'll see. What's up? Uh, how are you? Yeah, I'm okay. You alright? Yeah. Can I quote you one Quran verse? What's that about? No, it's, uh, I don't know if you know a Quran. It's Whenever there's something. Yeah, it's 29. You alright? Yeah. Uh, 48. 48. Yeah. yeah. Shall I read it? No, no, you, you can read it. It says, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Mm -hmm. And those with him are forceful against disbelievers, mm -hmm. uh, non-Muslims, merciful among themselves. You see them bowing and prostrating in prayer, seeking bounty from Allah and His pleasure. Their sign is in their faces from the effect of prostration. That's this one. Yeah. That's this one. Yeah. From the, their sign is in their faces from the effect of prostration. Mm -hmm. That is prayer. Yeah. That is their description in the Torah. And their description in the gospel is as a plant which produces its offshoots and strengthens them so they grow firm and, st and stand upon their stalks, delighting the sowers, so that he, that is Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, may enrage by them, the disbelievers. Allah has promised those who believe and do righteous deeds among them forgiveness and a great reward. Yeah. Right. So so those um those who are with your messenger, yeah. so they're going to have that mark on their face. You recognize? Are you recognizing? Yeah, of course. It well, well, what, what's wrong with this, yeah. this guy? And he deletes most of the video. But anyway, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, so in, in that verse, so it talks about the followers of Muhammad. Yeah. And they got the mark of, of faith of Yeah, in Arabic Sima You will see the prostration marks on their forehead like right. I told you there. Yeah. When we pray five times a day, mm -hmm. after a period we get the prostration mark. Right. So let me tell you a story. Okay. One day I was uh, in the old Kent Road. Yeah. In London, yeah? Mm. The old Kent Road. And I hadn't been there uh, uh, much before, yeah? All right. And it was a prayer time during the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted to pray. But I didn't know where the masjid was. Right. Uh, where to go and pray. So most of the people in that area I saw they weren't Pakistani or uh, you know Asians. Uh, mostly I saw people from uh, like the English, the European background yeah, 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 yeah. or from the African background. Mm. Okay. And I told them, okay, who will I ask a question? Then what I did, I stood there and I uh, at a bus stop and I looked at people. There were many people uh, at that bus stop on the old Kent Road, mm -hmm. and I saw the uh, you know foreheads of people. Okay. The man. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, okay, the one who has this prostration mark, it will show that he's a Muslim, mm. so I can go and ask him. Okay. So what happened? Mm. There was one of the. Uh, Muslim brothers there, yeah. and uh, he was starting. He was uh, from African background, okay. and on his forehead he had the prostration mark. Right. So when I saw that, I went up to him, said Assalamu alaikum, and I said, "Where is the nearest masjid? I want to pray." Mm. So he told me, uh, and that masjid in the old control is known as the Nigerian masjid okay. because people are from Nigerian background mm. they have established that. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, that's how I found. So, when I read this mm -hmm. time ago, yeah. so it gave me a secret. I, I learned, you know, see ma who fi wujuhim min asarish sojoo. Okay. So, when I 
had knowledge of it. So I saw this Muslim with this uh, thing, and there were many other people. I want to ask where the masjid is. So I went to him. I asked. I want to pray. Uh, where is the masjid? He told me. Yeah. So, so what you're showing then is that knowledge. That, yeah. That that he proudly showed, uh, made it known to other people that he was a true Muslim, didn't he? Now, not that he. It is like when a Muslim prays. Yeah. Okay. Mm. When we bow down and we are consistent in praying. Yeah, yeah. And what will happen? Mm. We will get the prostration mark. Yeah, yeah. Not that we want to, you know, just bow down, not pray, just bow down, want to get this mark. No. You understand? Yeah, yeah. When we pray, mm. they say, I'm an old man, I'm a grandfather. Yeah. I've been praying since I was young. So that's why long time I've been praying. So now I got this sojun mark. Okay, right. so any, so uh, you go to any area, mm. okay, you look at the, uh, the especially man, we will look at man, yeah, mm. look at their forehead, and I can see if he's a Muslim and he's praying, I can see he's got a sujood mark. So that's why when I was in the old control, mm. I don't know where the masjid is, okay, and I want to ask a Muslim. So I don't know who's a Muslim, so I looked at the foreheads of the man there. Yeah. So when I saw one of the men with the forehead, I went to him, I asked him, he told me, oh, there's a masjid. But I was wondering, do you think that is, is a way? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So what you're saying there shows uh, a way of showing who the true Muslims are, because they're the ones who actually will pray, yeah. like Allah said, in order to get the mark, isn't yeah. it? So what about the other Muslims who seem to be a bit more scared, okay. and they prefer to have like a pretty face? Okay. Would you say that Allah wouldn't be as impressed with those Muslims? Okay, listen. Yeah. Praying five times a day yeah. is compulsory when we grow up, Yeah. adulthood, mm. both for men. Muslim men and Muslim women. Yeah. Now, sometimes, let's say, like, for example, we are in, in Europe. Mm. Okay. Sometimes the youngsters, they, they go into different fields. They don't pray so on. But as long as they believe mm. in La ilaha illallah, like me, there is no God but Allah. Right. Muhammad Rasulullah. Mm. And that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the prophet messenger of Allah. As long as the Muslim, be, as any person believes that yes, there is a God Almighty, and yes, mm. that's Allah's word. And yes, Muhammad Samad is the prophet, is the last messenger. Yeah. They are Muslim. But, but, if they are praying, very good. Mm. If they are not praying, they are committing sin, but they are still Muslim. Unless they say, no, uh, they, let's say, criticize Salah, they criticize Zakat or anything, then they go out. You understand? Right. Yeah. Uh, but then Allah says in our Holy Quran, in Surah Az Zumar, which is Surah chapter 39, mm. uh, in the middle of that ayah, uh, verse 53, Allah says, La takna tu mi rahmatillah. La takna tu mi rahmatillah. Do not de Arabic. Do not despair from the mercy of Allah. Inna Allah yaqfiru zanuba jamia. For Allah subhanahu wa taala, He will forgive all sins. Except one thing. Mm -hmm. If you say, believe uh, there another Allah, uh, another uh, yeah, you know, like God. Yeah. If you believe Allah is the only God, and, yeah, of course. That's no. shirk. Yeah, that's true. Allah forgive anything except shirk. Yeah, yeah, of course. Right. Yeah. But, but, but like I said before, the, uh, when it comes to the, um, you know, the fact that Allah said that about those those companions of your prophet. No. 
You know what you said about the companions of your prophet? Yeah. So the fact that they're willing to have that mark on their forehead. But you said they are willing. Yeah, that's what the verse. Yes, sir. Okay. There are two things. Yeah. That people are praying. Mm. Okay, I already told you, I'm repeating myself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, pray. Mm. Okay. Waqi musala. In our holy Quran. Yeah. Establish prayer. So when we pray, how do we pray? We turn to the sayings of the Prophet, the Hadith, sayings of the Prophet. Mm. The Prophet said, pray as you see me pray. Right. So we pray like how our Prophet prayed. Okay. Right. Okay. Now, now, yeah. okay. So when we are praying, mm. it's an order by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. Yeah. So when we are praying, like I already told you, after a period of time, we will get the sujood mark. Yeah. We'll get the prostration mark. Yeah. You understand? But but this is my own people join him and that is sujood. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But but the fact that you get those marks, there's yeah. a reason why they get the mark, isn't it? Yeah. Go pray. Yeah, but it so means, it shows you that yes, these Muslims are praying. Yeah, but it means that these Muslims are proper contact prayers, though, aren't they? Pardon? Well, that's what it's called, contact praying, or contact. What is it contact praying. Well, making sure your your head actually hits the ground. Yeah, it's because right. when we pray, listen. Yeah. We have to touch our forehead right. on the ground. Yeah. So we are following instructions. Hmm. By Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by the Prophet in Hadith, you understand? Yeah. So so yeah. So what I want to find out is. Are those the ones who don't want to, maybe because they want to have a pretty face? Yeah, okay. Are, are they still doing what Allah wants? The ones who maybe, you know, try and just touch lightly so they don't get the mark? Well, if they are doing that, then they are not doing right. Right, Because, okay. because right, okay. anything, that's, that's, yeah. anything we have to do, yeah. we have to do it in the right way. Right. In the right manner. Okay. So when we do sujood, we have to do sujood properly. Right. Not that, oh, uh, you know, little baby, I don't want to get a mark. No. Right. Okay. You right. understand? Yeah, yeah. So Allah subhanahu wa knows everything. In the who alimu bezati sujood. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even knows what's in our Hearts. Yeah, yeah. So, mm. you know, right, right. So, okay. so, so, so essentially, all those pr uh, pretty face Muslims, the ones who don't want to get the mark. What do you pray? They are pretty, and we, uh, we are No, because they, they don't want to mark. They, they think their face oh, is wonderful, man. so they don't. No, but you know, most. Look, when you look at most Muslims here, yeah, they, they, pref they, they like to look nice or whatever, and make sure their face is nice and clear. So, so they wouldn't want to have some marks on their forehead, would so, they? Uh, so you think I'm not uh, being uh, nice or no, something? No, no, I'm talking about the other Muslims. No, I'm not Muslim. Yeah. Okay, talk about something else. Uh, we have been talking about it a long time. I've explained to you two or three times. You still keep asking me the same thing. Yeah, I, I, just, I just want to be sure that from what you're saying, we can safely say that those Muslims who don't want the mark, yeah. they go. They're not doing what Allah wants. I've explained to you already. All right. You okay. Okay. Are you a Christian? Yeah. Okay. You're a Christian, yes? Yeah. Okay. Do you believe in uh, in God? Yeah. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes. Okay. The God we believe in, we say Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Mm. As a Christian, what is the name of your God? Well, the the Jews use the term um, ya, ya, I think what is it? There's different ways it's pronounced depending on what your accent is. But some people say Yahweh. Some say ya, you. What's it? I'm trying to remember the term they use. Ask any Muslim in the world who is God Almighty. They say Allah. Within just one second, I'm asking you. You yeah, are struggling. But but, but you. Just, What's the name of God? Well, some people say Yahweh. Not Jesus. No, no, that's his son. That's his son. Huh? But, 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 you know, you made a mistake, though. You said you're going to call Allah. Yeah. Right? What does Al mean in Arabic? Look, Allah subhanahu wa taala. We say God Almighty. What? Even let me tell you, even. Okay. Even there are Arab Christians in Lebanon, mm -hmm. in Syria, Shah, mm -hmm. in some other parts of the Middle East. When they mention God, they say, they say Allah. The, Even Christians, they don't say Jesus. That's, you understand? That's not the name. So, so you explain to me, what is the name of God which Christians believe in? Is it Jesus? No. 
So Jesus is not God. He's the son. He's the son of God. So are you as a preacher saying Jesus is son of God, yes. but he's not God? No, he's not the father. Huh? He's not the father. He's not the father. No. Okay. Yeah. But, but why, why, why are you running? What yeah. happens is, mostly the Muslims are standing here, yeah? Uh, this Christian lady, she says she's a Christian, but I, I call her a visa preacher. You understand? She's yeah. a recent entry into this country, okay, mm -hmm. under the war, Rishi Sunak, the law path, so many students came over, okay? Yeah, but same uh, with your guys as well, the ones who are following her. Yeah, what? Well, look at all those guys following her. Why are they following her around? Yeah, because she comes here, she insults the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yeah. she insults the name of the Prophet, she yeah. uses very bad language, and if she's a Christian preacher, that's not the way to do, because yeah. people will not like you, you understand? For example, if I am, like, I am Muslim, if I start swearing at people, they won't like me, you understand? If I start uh, talking against Jesus, against the Bible, People won't like me. So, so when people want to preach, use nice language. Okay? Yes. But you have to persuade. Not by what she does. Alhamdulillah. But you, you, you do know about the rule here at Speaker's Corner that they're allowed. I'm British myself. Yes, but My she's. She, yeah, but she's allowed to insult. Uh, she's allowed to insult. As long as it's not a person, the person themselves. It is personally. No, she can't insult. She's been, let me tell you, she, I have been here. Right, but did she call you a name? The first time I came here, my father brought me in the 1960s. I have been here a long, long time, okay? Mm. I have never seen a Christian like her. And some of these other, I have to say, uh, these visa preacher, Indian Christian, because they come along, they swear at the name of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, they swear at the name of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's not the right but, 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 so, but, Yeah, but so, she can talk bad about the Queen as well. Oh, sorry, the King. Okay. So she's allowed to do that. Okay. So if she's allowed to say bad things about the King. Okay. Then why can't she say bad things about your belief? Okay. Anyway, I'm alive. Yeah. Listen. Mm -hmm. And in the past, I have been knifed. You understand? Yeah, yeah you told me no, this. Let me tell you. Yeah, yeah. Did I tell you this? Yeah, you told me a couple. No, of... Let me tell you. Okay. Two Christians in the night time. Right. Started insulting me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was reading one of the surahs of the Holy Quran. It was night time, about half past eleven. Yeah. So I was reading uh, Surah Mulk from the 29th section of the Holy Quran. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now it will help us in the cover. You understand? So anyway, in the distance, there were a lot of buildings. You know, it was uh, an area which uh, many people from abroad uh, are scared to go around. Yeah. And anyway, I happen to be walking in that area. Yes, so so in the distance, I heard a lot of shouting. Mm -hmm. So I stopped and tried to figure out from which way the voices are coming from. Yeah, yeah. So that I could change my direction. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. As I stopped, the voices stopped. So I started walking again. But from the other side of the building, these guys come along. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, when they come along in front of me, I slow down so that they will pass me. Yeah. So when they pass me, then I can go. Okay. So they did. I slow down. They did pass me. When they pass me, and I was glad, okay, they are going now. And as I'm walking along, they stop, look behind, they ask me, who are you? You know why? When I was walking in that area, mm -hmm. I knew the area, so I covered my face up. Right. Okay, with one of these things. Yeah, yeah. So that people who see me, they don't see my color. They okay. don't see, you understand? Right. Now, so when they stopped, they, they said, uh, who are you? You understand? Who are you? Uh, I did reply the first of maybe two or three times. 
that yeah. I became very angry. Okay. Okay. Angry is they said, who are you? So I said to them, you go your way and mm. let me go mine. Yeah. Now whether they, when I spoke English, though I had grown up in this country, from primary school in this country, yeah, you got whether accent, the yeah. English I spoke, yeah. they realized that I am of uh, Asian accent or something. Yeah, yeah. What I did, they start coming towards me. Okay. When they start coming towards me, there is snow on the ground. Right. It's slippery. Yeah, yeah. And anyway, as Muslims, in our Holy Quran, we are not supposed to run. You understand? But, uh, yeah, but that's what Muslims do here then. I'm talking to you about myself. Alright, okay. okay. All right. We're not supposed to run. Mm. Okay? And I'm from a military family. Mm. My father was a Second World War soldier. Yeah. My grandfather was a First World War soldier in battlefields of France. Right. So we are not cowards. So right. as they as they come along towards me, mm. right? They saw me standing there, okay, not running. Mm. So what did they do? They took out knives. Okay. One each. So both of them had knives. Right. When they took them out, I still didn't run. Mm. They started fighting. So for about 15, 20 minutes, we were fighting. Okay. okay. Now, I didn't have any weapon. What they had. Mm. I was trying to avoid this and that. You, you, you understand? Yeah. And then, finally, they did knife me. But then, when they ran, Okay, mm. I became more angry. When they ran, they went into a building. When they went into a building, I ran after them. Though I was alive, okay? okay. I ran after them mm. and they closed the door. Okay. Right. I tried to open it, no opening. So anyway, as I walk in, please come along, Gorda. Anyway, afterwards they had to go to prison. Okay. okay. Anyway, so, so there you are. You okay. understand? But this is interesting. So when it comes to being physically fighting... In other words, they were British, I am British. They were not Muslim, I was Muslim. Mm. They had flick knives, I didn't. Yeah. But they but. knifed me. And people say, oh, the Muslims are killers. The Muslims do this, that. You understand? Yeah, if we went to it's Pakistan, that, if we went to Pakistan, that would happen. How? If, if we went around trying to say that people should uh, love Jesus and uh, get baptized uh, because he died on the, on the on the he died for them ah, then, so then, then the mob would come around okay I've been in Pakistan I'll tell you I'll tell you a story All you right. are wrong why okay once in Lahore yeah which is the second biggest city in Pakistan all right mm. I was sitting in a bus just trying to be an ordinary person mm. next to me see now she comes along again mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but she's, a, she's allowed. To, she's allowed to, but she's allowed to do that. Yeah, she's you? allowed to do that. Yeah. I'm allowed to do it as well. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ is not a Israelites will return to take down Islam.